In this lesson, we're going to learn how to solve one-step equations by adding and subtracting. To solve an equation using addition and subtraction, you'll move terms from one side of the equal side to the other side, as I've shown here. First, we start out with two blue cubes, and then I added a red cube. But in order for the balance scale to maintain balance, I have to add the same weight onto both sides. A term is simply a number or a symbol separated by an addition or a subtraction sign. So the goal in solving an equation is to get the variable x alone on one side of the equal sign and everything else on the other. We do, we do this by using what we call the opposite operation. So for example, addition, the opposite operation is subtraction. In subtraction, the opposite operation is addition. In multiplication, it's division. And in division, it's multiplication. All right, so what we want to do is look at this equation as it's, it's a house with two rooms. Okay, in our first room, we have x plus 5. And in our second room, we have 7. And the rooms is both divided or separated by the equal sign. So if we notice in our first room it has an X in it, where in the second room it does not. Well the object in solving the equation is we want to get the X by itself. You know X has been bad, you know, so he needs to be in a room by itself. Okay? So in this room we have plus 5. So in order to get rid of plus 5, we have to figure out which operation is attaching it. So we already said that it's addition. So what we're going to do is subtract 5 from both sides of the equation or from both rooms so that x can be by itself. So an x plus 5 equals 7. Um, like we said before, we're going to subtract 5 from both sides. So now on the left side of our equation, we got 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. So now we got x by itself. And on the right side of the equation, we have 7 minus 5, which is equal to 2. So our answer is x is equal to 2. Okay, so we're going to try this again. So we have x plus 8 is equal to 20. Okay, and our x plus 8 is equal to 20. Once again, we got two rooms. So in our first room, we have x plus 8. And in our second room, we have uh, 20. And remember, our rooms are separated by the equal sign. So the object of solving the equation is we want to get x by itself or x in a room alone. So to do that, we're going to subtract 8 from both sides. And how we determine that is because it's saying x plus 8. So we want to do the opposite operation here to get rid of the 8. Okay, so once we subtract 8 from both sides, on our left side, 8 minus 8 is equal to 0. And on our right side, 20 minus 8 is equal to 12. So that leaves us with x is equal to 12. Okay, I want you all to try this one. 15 is equal to x minus 9. Remember, if you need more time, you can always pause the video. Okay, so remember our equal sign divides our two rooms, or separates our two rooms. So in our first room we have 15, and in our second room we have x minus 9. So what we want to do to get x by itself is we want to add 9 to both sides. Remember we're going to use that opposite operation. So this becomes 15 plus 9, and x minus 9 plus 9. On our left side of the equation, 15 plus 9 is equal to 24. But on our right side of the equation, we have, well, negative 9 plus 9, so that's equal to 0. So our answer is going to be 24. 